Uh, yesterday in the Vesper, I talked about the power of influence. Uh, today, I want to talk about another powerful thing in our lives that we need to steward. Um, recently, uh, we had a young man um, get baptized in our church. Uh, it was kind of interesting. He came to church upon the invitation of another uh, young man, a co-worker, um, realized that having professed faith in Christ, he needed to be baptized. And so a date was set, and uh, the baptistry was filled, and um, the day came. Um, one of our longstanding church members, in fact, I've often said there are two kinds of church members, the pillars and the caterpillars, uh, the pillars hold it up and the caterpillars just kind of creep in and out, laugh out loud. Um, this guy's a pillar. I mean, member in good standing, uh, loves the Lord, uh, a noble person in our congregation. Got a tear in his eye when he walked in and saw this throng of people that he had never seen before in church, in worship. And they came uh, to see this young man get baptized. Uh, there were more than uh, 25, maybe, that came, family and friend. And they cheered and yahooed, which is great, uh, when he got baptized. But I know this about that, two things. Today's Vesper word is the word invitation. Today's Vesper word is the word invitation. Um, we don't invite people uh, to something that's not of value or interest or of importance. We invite people to things that are important. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, there is power in the personal invitation. There is power uh, in the personal invitation. Uh, I can assure you that if this young man hadn't gotten the word out and asked these people to come witness with him uh, his baptism, um, we would not have had those people in the church house on that day. Uh, so let me just encourage you, uh, consider being a steward of the personal invitation, uh, the power of the personal invitation. Uh, number one, we don't invite people to things that aren't important. Uh, and number two, uh, using uh, the power of the personal invitation, uh, people will come. I read a thing recently that said one of the main reasons uh, that many people do not attend church is simply because they have not been invited. Uh, likely the greatest apostle of Jesus, Simon Peter, uh, came to Jesus by way of personal invitation, his brother Andrew. First thing he did after he followed Jesus was find his brother, say, we have come and found the Messiah. And he, Andrew, brought him, Peter, to Jesus. Give a little time today to consider the power of the personal invitation. God bless you. Have a good evening.